Dear listeners, I am back with another episode. There is a message that I want to share with you. This is a part two of a long message that was forwarded to me by one of our admins, that fellow brother of ours who is saying that he is a fake pastor. The message is written like this. It took me a very long time to come back to my senses. I was heartbroken and I was filled with such regret. Why would I do such a thing? Why did I sacrifice my mother and the thing that had happened whilst we were at my mother's funeral? It kept on troubling me. A few weeks later, the same team came back and they told me to be strong and I had to be ready to embark on my mission. I was filled with grief and regret, yet I had to be forced to move on with my life. The one who was responsible or the one who had a higher rank then told me to prepare myself to move on to the next stage and to accept my new responsibilities and the gifts that were going to follow me. There was this other day I was in the office of this certain pastor and I was telling him everything that was going on in my life. He knew everything because he is also a ritualist, so he knew that I had just sacrificed my mother. So that fake pastor that I was staying with, he then took me to that pastor's office just for counseling. He was afraid that I might end up committing suicide. When I went to that pastor's office, as I was busy telling him everything, that was going on in my heart he then said you know what the problem here is and i said no and he said the problem is not your mother whom you sacrificed but the problem is you you need to move on son think of all the gifts that you are going to be given and all the beautiful women he then took out his phone then he started showing me all the pictures of the women that he dates usually when he is overseas so he dates a lot of these women that do escorting most of these women are escorts and they were so beautiful and he said don't you want all of these women and he was like these women even though they are escorts they only wait for me they don't i do not share these beautiful women with any men don't you want that power in your life and immediately i was hooked so i told myself that i had to be man enough and move on yes i had done this sacrifice so what i had sacrificed my mother so what this is what i was saying when i was walking out of that pastor's office i kept on saying so what mother if i sacrificed you I was given a lot of things that I had to keep in secret and no one was allowed to see or touch. These things, they were staying in my room because those people then rented out a room for me in another neighborhood. I had other things that were staying in my new car that was given to me as a gift by the occult priest and it was a lot of stuff. Today, I just want to concentrate on the terms and the conditions that I was given. Hmm, it's for the strong-hearted. I had the power in me. I could perform miracles. And I want you to know that deep down my soul, I was not happy whenever I was performing some of these miracles. Some of them, they were fake. But when I was on stage, there were a few nights whereby I'll be shocked I wanted to run away from that stage because some of these miracles, they would take me by surprise and I knew that some of the miracles that I was performing, they were straight from God, but I don't know how God was able to do it, to use someone who was evil like me. Grief overtook me and all that I wanted was my mother whenever I would perform a real miracle because I kept on thinking about my next life that I was going straight to hell but I had to accept my mistakes and move on. I became a bitter man. I was angry and I just told myself that those bishops would pay. How they were going to pay, I don't know. My church members came and they were very supportive throughout and the following weeks I started going back to church. I was then given two demons on top of sacrificing my mother. The sacrificing was for the money. Then for the powers, two demons were given to me. 
one was a male the other one was a female whenever i entered church i would call the demons during the church service i would speak in certain tongues and people thought that the tongues that i was speaking in maybe they were from god but those tongues they came straight from hell those two demons taught me how to call out their names whenever i want to use them and people would start falling it was the time when most pastors would prophesy with a cloth if that cloth touched you you would become so uncontrollable i witnessed a lot of things some would roll over like a snake some would cry some would just be unnatural god is a god of order and if you see yourself in a church where there is a lot of chaos then you just have to know that you are lost upon my arrival a group of people would wait for me as soon as i would get out of my car those people that would be waiting for me they would rush to polish my shoes because i had done this service and i had said that if you know a man of god even if you polish his shoes god is going to bless you like no man's business after i had given that sermon each and every sunday people kept on doing that ritual whenever i would get out of the car they would rush to polish my shoes and to escort me as if i was a president in church this was just hero worshiping all the honor and the glory i know that it has to belong to jesus christ himself so those demons were too so that they will not need to come to my sisters asking for a wife hence i got two different genders now once a month i was supposed to find a mad woman and i had to sleep with that mad woman when i joined this occultic group they told me that if i am lucky enough to find an mad albino woman then i'll be the most powerful pastor in the world i searched and i searched for a mad albino woman until i found her life was good and there were many days that i'll end up telling myself that finally god has blessed me because i could choose and select any woman that i wanted but most of these women that i would end up choosing they were those women that do this escorting business and they are very expensive but at that time i had money on me always i actually booked some of these women and after booking those women sometimes when i'll be in bed with one of those expensive escorts then she will start telling me stories like do you know that i was recently booked by so and so and most of the people that she will be telling me some of them they will be famous people there was this other time when this woman told me that she had gone on this other trip with the president of a certain country i was living the high life everything that i needed was there for me to grab it the only problem that i was facing i kept on seeing my mother here and there my mother would visit me in my dreams and once in my dream she told me that god had hardened my heart sooner or later i was going to sacrifice my siblings then god was going to punish me whenever i would have this dream i would wake up and i'll be sweating as if as if the whole house will be on fire what i'll do is that whenever i would have this nightmare i would prefer to go and sit outside maybe for a couple of minutes by the time that i would return back inside the house it would have cooled down i can't even explain where all of this fire was coming from but whenever i would wake up i would just feel so hot dear listeners right there was a message that was forwarded to me by one of our admins how oh, strange things do happen in this world let us meet again in the following episode